so welcome all students so this is the first session of our course engineering graphics so in today's session we are going to learn how to draw an ellipse by concentric circle method so in case of concentric circle method we need to use two circles in order to draw an ellipse in order to learn this method you should know how to divide a circle into two equal parts and how to do that it's very simple so i will draw a circle of having diameter 100 mm okay now this circle has to be divided into 12 equal parts how to divide it so you can do in very simple way so angle of a circle is 360 degree so 360 divided by 12 so 30 degree so you draw 30 degree line and by using that you can divide the circle into 12 equal parts how to do that i will show you very in simple way suppose this is my radius then in order to divide this i will draw one more radius here okay i will draw one vertical line okay now in order to divide this circle into 12 equal parts what i will do i will draw a line or i will draw an angle or the line such that you can see here the angle is 30 so i will mention as 30 degree and that i will extend up to my this point circle angle is 30 degree and that i will extend up to circle so by using this way you can you can draw one more line from here now the angle is 60 degree so 60 so just extend that line up to circumference of the circle so in simple way you can divide the circle into 12 equal parts and that is very simple geometry that you can practice now what i will do here i will use one autocad command called array and by using that array i will divide the circle into 12 equal parts but before that so this is my 100 mm circle and we need to draw an ellipse by using concentric circle method so major axis is 100 and minor axis is 50 so i will take one more circle the uh, of having same center concentric means same center but diameter is 50 mm now you can see we have two circle one is of having diameter 100 mm and second one is of having diameter 50 mm now let us divide this circle into 12 equal parts so in order to do that i will locate the center point and i will draw one radius i will use here you can see array and in that array i will use polar array i will select this object press enter so this is my center point now here in items i will place 12 you can see automatically our circle has been divided into 12 equal parts now what is the next what is the next step so in order to show you the next step i will change the color to yellow color so that you will get the idea that we are using projection lines means construction lines not in order to draw an ellipse we require some construction so that construction i am showing by using yellow line now observe carefully from this point i am drawing one horizontal line then from this point i am drawing one vertical line now you can see here so this horizontal line and this vertical line is in intersected at this point it's visible yes it is visible it is intersected at this point so later part i will just remove it so the not required part i will remove it yes now this part i am looking for so this is intersection point which is very very important to us now let us construct by using horizontal and vertical line so this intersecting points so 
to the not required portion you can trim it So I'm drawing it very slowly so that you can see each steps carefully. Use trim option in order to delete unwanted parts. Remember that this construction what this construction we are doing in order to draw the ellipse so we require the intersection point the intersection points of this vertical line and horizontal lines are very very important to us vertical line and from this line horizontal line so that line is not joined properly yes so let us trim this portion Here also you can draw a horizontal line and from this point a vertical line. Let us trim unwanted part. Yes, we do not want that part. So let us remove it. Again here horizontal line then here vertical line let us trim one wanted part yes yes now you can see so this outer circle is 100 mm which is which constitutes an ellipse of a major axis of an ellipse and this inner circle is of 50 mm diameter which constitutes minor axis of an ellipse okay so this is minor axis and this is a major axis so this is our major axis you can see and this inner circle diameter 50 mm is minor axis of the ellipse but how to draw an ellipse so we will draw curve from all these intersection points so what i will do so i will choose the color red color so that you can magenta color so that you will get the idea that the magenta color indicates ellipse and rest of the thing is just construction lines so remember that so all these for horizontal lines and vertical lines are for construction purpose only hmm? nothing else so this is our first point because our ellipse starts from this point then it ends here so means this particular line is a major axis whereas ellipse starts from this point it ends here and this becomes our minor axis let me show you that so just connect all the intersection points just connect all the intersection points nothing else very simple just connect all the intersection points yes okay now it doesn't looks like ellipse because we have drawn and line polyline but you are drawing in a free way, free sketch, free hand style. So you can use the pencil and join all the points by using free curve or free sketch. You will get the curve. But here I can do it by using simple click. You just click over this. You just click over this and right click over that. And you can go to polyline and curve 
fit you can see curve fit yes now you can see it is a beautiful ellipse has come up yes okay you can see it's a beautiful ellipse so this ellipse i will just improve the layer okay now you can see so we have drawn an ellipse it's by using concentric circle method so you can see so this line is our major axis and this line is our minor axis so in order to show the dimensions what i will do so i will do it so this is our line so this is 200 mm okay 200 mm so circle total length is 200 mm that is major axis oh sorry we have done it uh, not not let me remove that yes okay so this circle is having major axis 100 mm and minor axis 50 mm and let us uh, show the dimensions what is the dimensions of the circle so let me change the color to again white where is that yes okay so the diameter is 200 no problem so we have drawn an ellipse with having major axis major axis 200 mm major axis 200 mm and minor axis 100 mm that's all that is the only difference we have done it okay let again let me show you this yes 100 mm yes now you can see so major axis of an ellipse is 200 mm and minor axis of an ellipse is 100 mm okay so this is by using simple method you can draw an ellipse by using concentric circle method so you draw it in your notebook let us change the dimensions to major axis as 120 mm and minor axis as 80 mm okay major axis 120 mm and minor axis 80 mm so draw an ellipse by using concentric circle method 